Alright guys, we just gotta finish with the exact boss fight. This is like that is this is one of the reasons why I love Resident Evil 7. They just give you such a different approach to it, you know? Now nah, after doing all that and then going to this, it's gonna look kind of stupid. You're okay. okay. The hell is that? So, the only difference between Mia and Zoe, if you choose Zoe, Ethan gets to know the true what happens. If you play as Mia... Mia learns in either one, but it, de it depends. If you, if you cure her, you save her. If you don't... Oh, let's die. But we're about to play as her. We, you know what I know? They never really get to show you what Ethan looks like, and it's, and that, and it always leaves me with the like, are they gonna make another re like another Resident Evil based off of this? Uh, so this game is coming to a close soon. So uh, I'm happy. I'm happy to have brought you guys on this journey with. Happy to have brought you with on this journey with me, and um, you know, it, you know, it was it was a fun ride doing this with you guys. Uh, definitely having, definitely being able to talk to people, you know, having an audience that watches this is uh, kind of cool, you know. So I'm not gonna tell you anything about this boat or the past at all. You're gonna learn it yourself. Cause I'm not gonna play as Mia in the present for much longer. I mean, obviously Ethan's gonna get the no because Mia's gonna have to tell Ethan. I mean, Ethan went to. I mean, this is all in one night, which is kind of crazy. This must be like the longest, like, eight hours of your life. Well, I mean, it can't happen. Well, it happened in one day. It's crazy to think because I feel like I played more. Then they've actually been living this. So there's nothing in here. The thing about this is you're not gonna really find anything. It's strange bottle you find in your pocket. So if you guys I'm gonna tell you what this bottle is. That bottle is what ends uh <laughs> So, if you guys don't really know by now, Evelyn is the one who did all this. The only thing that this game does not clear up is how do you, what happens to Lucas? You know what happens to the two 
characters, but you don't know what happens to the last one, which is Lucas. She's inside. She's inside me. She's inside it. Built 1987, dead weight times 71,000, length 948 feet. I am What? <laughs> Oh shoot, I didn't even know you can, I didn't even know there's a way to have it. Wait, wait, do I go this way? What? I don't remember this. Well, I guess I did it and I just didn't think about it the first time. Close to the hangar. It's too late for us, but at least I can let the world know what happened here. I was on night shift yesterday, so I was talking, taking a nap in the bank, the bunk room around me. I was half asleep and I heard a kid, a little girl laughing, or was it all in my head? I woke up in 9, 1930. There was some short repute in the passageway. Drew, one of the engin engineers, came in and said there was something going on down below, maybe air. Maybe a rock. He looked. He looked pale in his face. He told me he was going down and checking it out, but he never came back. It must have been around 19, 1950 when I heard the scream. I went to the laundry room and checked and saw Clark being eaten by some short blackish monster. The monster turned and stared, coming towards me. Huge, sharp light teeth snapping its jaw I, sh I just screamed like a little girl and ran for it now i'm huddling up in the bunk room sh shaking 
sneaking as I wrote this. There is a whole host of these creatures lurking in the passage now. Passages now. I can't. I can still hear screaming now and then. Now and then. But there is no way I'm going out there now. And the, and that's it. I'll write. I'll write and any everything I know. Jeez, man, this is what these people had to go through. This is like what they had to deal with. That, that's just crazy. I can never think about putting myself in it. Run away from it. Run away from it. Run away from it. Alright, alright, I'll kill it. Yeah, no, I'm dead. Uh. But that's what I'm saying, I don't remember where I go exactly.
It says look for a fuse, but I have no idea where a fuse is. That's the thing. I don't know where I can find one. Gaze and give it machine gun. Oh, damn.
Alright, right, never that's why you find the other one. She's vomiting. Far more in excess of her body weight. Thank you. 